What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards of Comics here. For those, for a bulk of my audience, it is Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, I'm actually recording this on Thanksgiving morning. I wasn't planning on doing a video today, uh, but I woke up this morning earlier than I really wanted to because I'm in my 40s and that's what happens. You lose the ability to sleep in at a certain age, apparently. And I said, you know what, let's just, let's, let's fire something up just real quick today. Let's have a little, little chit chat. It's Thanksgiving. Uh, let's just have a little chat, a little talk. We got logo up because I'm lazy and I don't put the camera on my face. You guys don't need to see my mug. Since it's a holiday of Thanksgiving, you know, all the, all the good feel goods and everything. I thought we would just kind of talk about like, let, let's not lose sight of why we're all here it's easy to get caught up and you know guilty as charged in the and i'm going to use collectible in a, in a in a wide sense because i have people here that watch for sports cards for marvel cards for comic books for who knows what else but just collectibles in general whatever it is that you like to hoard that you know it's easy to get caught up in the negative side. It, it drives clicks. It drives views. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Something bad happens, whatever it is, and everyone's going to run to it to make a video, content, an IG post, a meme, whatever. And that's justifiably so. There is a level of awareness that people need to be put in the loop for, and a lot of people consume content because they want to be in the know. If a company or a person is doing something shady, they want to know that so they know to avoid that or look for that in the future and steer clear of it. So there's definitely a public service announcement vibe about that. You know, that, that stuff is very important. Very important. I'm not knocking anyone that does that type of content. I do some of that content myself. But I think we get wrapped up in that side of the things. And then it's always like, oh, you know, the hobby's in the worst place it's ever been in. This sucks. This is all bad. You know, what are we doing? It's a, it's a tire fire. It's all going to zero, you know. And I think sometimes we just forget that we're just here because we like to hoard some shit, you know. Sure, it's cool when you buy it 20 bucks and sell for a hundred and you, you made that right call on a certain card or a certain player or a certain franchise or IP or whatever it was. And you could take some things from your collection, sell them off for a profit and use that to buy other things that you want or upgrade your collection. Like all that's fun. That is great. You know, I always say the action is the juice, uh, the, the, the quote from heat. That's that, that, that's what really drives it a lot of times for me. Is, is that quote, the action is the juice, the, the art of upgrading the collection through the collection, whatever it is that you're into is a fun chase for me. But like I said, sometimes I think we get caught up in this negativity loop and just kind of forget the real reason why I don't want to say everybody, but a lot of us are actually here because at some point along the line, we got a pack of cards or a comic book and we flipped through it and something just clicked in there. Whether it was putting the cards in a, in a, in a binder sleeve and completing a set, whether it was waiting for the next issue of X-Men or Spider-Man to hit the newsstand, whether it was going with a parent or a grandparent to a flea market and you know, you would hunt for stuff, whatever it is, somewhere along the line, something clicked. In, in the old noggin upstairs or in your chest or whatever. And then I think all of us, you know, at some point in time, you, you drift away from it as we get older and, and life kicks in. And then I think what it ultimately turns into for a lot of people is we're a bulk of my audience is um, 35 to 55. If you look at my YouTube algorithm, that's where bulk of my audience is. And I think for people in that age range, we reach a point where a lot of us have more financial freedom. You know, college stuff's paid off for most of us. Uh, we're established. We have a career in, in, for the most part. You know, we're, we're into 
or past the first real stage of our our life and and, and kind of in that settle in period. So you have a little bit of financial flexibility. Not everybody, but you know most people start to kind of settle in around that point. And you know you reach your mid forties, your your thirties, whatever, and you look back and and you think back to those times that we just discussed. You know your your dad or mom or whoever, grandpa, grandma getting you a pack of cards, handing you a comic book or whatever. And then I think at some point in time, and Flipping Steve mentioned this a long time ago, and I just 100% in line with it. We're really chasing memories. We're chasing a feeling. You know, I've talked before. You put a box of 90 MU in front of me, and it's not about the box of 90 Marvel Universe. It's about the feeling that gives when you crack that wax seal off and you start ripping those packs and you start flipping through the cards and you're not thinking about like, Oh, you know, party use like, sure. Yeah, party use like, Hey, th- I think this could be a say 10. Like, let's not be stupid here. But I think a large part of your brain is going back to triggering memories from a certain time in your life. When you're like, man, I remember walking into the card shop flipping through the binder or their box of singles. And I found the one or two cards that I needed and I went home and I put them on my pages and I completed the set or whatever. We're really chasing memories. I think at some point in time, memories and feelings of simpler times, better times, worse times. And then I think the other thing that we lose track of is, and for me, this is the part that I didn't realize when I got back in pre COVID to collecting you know i've been on and off my entire 42 years on this planet to some degree or another sometimes heavier sometimes lighter obviously you know much heavier now but when i got back in even before doing content and then once i got into doing content the other thing that i underrated and forgot about that has become the most important or one of the most important aspects to me about this whole thing is the social aspect of it you know I have made so many new personal connections, you know, friendships, people that I talk to daily now that I would have never met if I never got into or back into collecting, you know, whether it was meeting people at my local show, whether it's attendees, dealers, people at trade night, uh, meeting up with people at the national that I met online in various different places. And some of that is the fact that I produce content. It puts me out there to a larger base of people, but I've still made friendships with people like through the content. It's been absolutely fantastic. Like that's, that's been the part that has been the most surprising of this is the social aspect of it. I just didn't when when you get back in, that's not the part that you think of, but now that I'm in the thick of it and, you know, have been back in for whatever it's been five years now. When I look back at the collection that I've built over that time, a, a content platform, a social media platform, it's really the people along the way that I have met and built relationships with. That's the most important thing. Like that's the part that I look back on and like, you know, I've built a collection, not just of little pieces of cardboard or expensive pieces of paper, but of friends. And I think that that's that's really it for me anyway. So that's all I got for you. Sorry, this was a little bit rambly. Just kind of wanted to get on here and chit chat for a little bit. Like I said, I think we all kind of get caught up in the I got to make 20 percent or oh, my God, so and so did such and such or. Oh, can you believe this company did this idiotic thing? And oh my God, this company is printing this to the moon. They've ruined the hobby. This person's an ass. They've ruined everything. And I think it's just good to remember why we're all here to some degree or another. And it's all different reasons. It really is. It's important to reflect on the positive and what you get out of this that benefits you than focus on the negative all the time. So. Don't worry, we'll be back to some clickbait nonsense tomorrow, I'm sure. Uh, But for today, enjoy the collection that you've built, whether that's of cards, comics, toys.
employees, people, relationships, whatever it is. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Peace.